What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a farming method for the summit that can get you a ton of loot in the short amount of time. Now I've put a video together like this before however recently I've been doing some live streams where I've been helping subs out get exotics high-end gear stuff like that and a lot of you have reached out asking what is the method could you do another breakdown so that's exactly what I'm doing today. Now there happen to be a bunch of details I'd like to go over but first I'd like to show you the farming method itself. So as all of you you know we're in the summit you can see right here and we're focusing on floor 10 and for some reason floor 10 of the summit seems to be a spot where so many people get so many great pieces of gear the other great aspect about farming in the summit obviously is you can choose your targeted loot and you can choose to change it anytime you want so for instance right now I'm trying to focus on a build I need a few different ARs and I also need some pieces of walker and hair so what I'll do is farm one then the other so again it's incredibly efficient now moving on to the difficulty and the directive. So when it comes to the difficulty, as most of you know, the higher the difficulty, the better the quality of the loot is going to be. Now when it comes to the directives, those will give you two things. They will give you an XP bonus without a doubt, and they also give you a higher chance of the targeted loot you're looking for actually dropping. As I mentioned earlier, there happen to be a few other tips I want to pass along, but I'll save that to the end of the video. Right now, I want to jump into the farming method. So as I said, we're focusing in on floor 10, and the main goal is this. It's to get to floor 10, take out the named boss, go back to the lobby, and rinse and repeat. Now, the most important thing about this method is you cannot clear the floor entirely. I cannot stress that enough. If you clear the floor entirely, you're going to get bumped up to floor 11, which means you can no longer do this thing over and over again. So here's how it works. When the elevator doors open, you're going to see one of four floor layouts in front of you, because I think that's kind of, I, I think there are only four different, you know, variations of floor 10 that you can go through. And what you want to do is you want to immediately attack, obviously, the NPC. You take them out as quick as you can. Now, as soon as you see the named boss, pop up what you want to do is make a beeline for the named boss you want to take them out and again you keep other NPC alive and the main reason you do that is as I said before if you clear everyone you're not going to be able to get back to floor 10 so if you look on the screen here's what I'm doing I'm taking out the named boss going to pick up the loot going to open up my menu you're going to see the button that says X return to lobby I press that go back to lobby and then my friends I just do it over and over and over again one recommendation I have for players who are just going to be trying this for the first time is try it out on a lower difficulty initially so not only can you learn the layout of the actual floors but you can also see how your build responds in regards to the NPC so again you don't want to make the mistake of clearing the floor you want to see how they spawn that way you know exactly what you're doing now, as I mentioned earlier, I did one of these about probably five months ago and I got a ton of questions. That's another reason why I wanted to do another one today. And some of the questions were, for instance, can this work on any boss floor? The answer is yes. And actually, in my previous video, I think I was showing floors 60, 70, 80, 90. However, 10 is a really, really good floor to hit, especially for people just trying it out. So if you are just getting into this, I definitely recommend that. The other question I received from that video is, can you do this farming method in the group? The answer is yes without a doubt it is one of the most beneficial ways to get loot and share with other players it's absolutely fantastic now yesterday I put out a video in regards to farming exotics and at the end you can see some live stream footage from when I was in a group doing this and I was able to hand out the big horn you know the bullet king merciless Sawyer's knee pads I think some others as well and again the most important aspect is if you're doing this in a group you need to make sure everyone knows exactly what they're doing so the goal is hyper focus on that named boss take the map out, everybody swoops in picks up the loot and then the leader takes you back to the lobby and again ideally you do it over and over and over again another question a lot of you had had to do with farming specific pieces of gear so let's say you're looking for a bellstone holster the question was should you farm bellstone or should you choose holsters as your targeted loot and when it comes to that you always want to pick the gear set first and the reason for that is if you're farming bellstone you're only competing with five other pieces of bellstone gear in regards to what can drop however if you choose actual actual holsters you have every other holster every other gear set every other brand set so again always focus on the gear set first that will definitely up your chances in my opinion the only time you want to focus on the piece of gear itself is when you're trying to farm for exotics so obviously if you're looking for a coyote's mask you pick the mask if you're looking for the memento you pick the backpack again that's really the best time to pick the actual 
individual gear, but otherwise go for the brand sets or gear sets. One friendly reminder I'd like to pass along to new and returning players is if you are playing in a group and let's say you get exactly what you're looking for, don't just leave at the end of the session. When you're hanging out in that lobby, you know, in between attempts, you know, a lot of people want to share gear, so make sure you stick around to see if anything is dropped that you may need. With all that being said, I'm going to start to wrap this up. Now for me, I usually do this method for like 30 minutes, an hour, somewhere in between then. And for people who do not have a lot of time to play, this is a great way to maximize your gameplay. Because a lot of times, let's say you have 30 minutes, 40 minutes, whatever it is you want to jump in the game. This way you can get some great loot, see what you get, and then be ready for your next session and hopefully have better gear to use during that time. Many people reach out to the channel and ask, what am I actually doing in the game right now? And my answer is this. I'm farming for specific things, items or gear sets, or let's say, you know, mods or skill attachments or whatever it is that have eluded me since day one. And I also want to make sure I completely max out my recalibration library as well. And the main reason is so whenever we do get that new content, I can just focus on getting the new stuff. I don't have to worry about that mod I was looking for, or that certain piece of bellstone, or that certain piece of wyvern, or whatever it is. So again, my friends, I strongly recommend doing this. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section down below. As always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for the incredible support you continue to show me at this channel. We're almost two years old, we're over 25,000 subs, and the fact is we haven't had anything new in a while. But with that being said, in my opinion, the future looks really good with not only the Division 2's new stuff, but also with the Division Heartland. And trust me when I say once all this stuff comes out, we are going to have so much to do, my friends. So again, keep that grind going, and I'm so excited to see what happens next. On that note, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, like I said at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you can hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.